friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to the next exciting episode of Alan Wake American Nightmare. Now, where we last left off, Emma was uh, gonna go home instead of staying here, you know, as Alan suggested, you know, in the light and not getting murderly brutalized. But she's like, sure, I'm gonna go home as soon as you leave. So, we're leaving, and uh, we're going to the diner, because apparently Mr. Scratch was there and had a, had a little shakedown. I, that's that's all I know. It was at the, at the diner, and there was a fight caused. I don't know to what degree, or you know, we talking like a barroom brawl. We talking like literally a blood sport in a diner. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. That being said, I guess we're gonna head over there. Oh, I can't. I can't steal this truck, can I? No. No. No, I cannot. Very well. I wanted to, but I can't. We're going to the diner on foot. Oh yes. Or as the sign says, Diver, Diver, I, I don't know, it's, that's not actually a word, it's like a I with a sideways A, kind of? I, I don't know. Uh oh. Its existence is one of rage and hostility. Okay. And its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. Okay, that's bad. Thanks, Discount Rod Serling. Could you not try and... Shit. Oh, hey, yeah, just sidestep that, Alan. Come on. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Ah, that probably tickled Alan. Yeah, I bet you... I bet that almost killed you. <laughs> yeah, just walk it off, big man. Walk it off. Hey, your, your health bar regens up to the first bar. You're fine. Fine. You got it, man. Ooh, flares. I hear screaming. Hello? Screamer. I got a revolver. With your name on it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You gave me the keys, too. Although I'm not really sure why a mechanic had keys to the diner. The scene. Traces of violence. Oh, yeah? A callous midnight snack. Callous midnight snack? Left what? Carelessly behind. That looks like a bunch of room the man keys. man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. Thanks, Discount Rod Serling. These are keys for the motel rooms. Oh. Really, Alan? You think? Possibly? They might be hotel keys? Hmm, yes. These appear to be keys of some sort. All right. Well, where do we go now? Maybe, oh, what is this? Satellite, now this? That place Mount, might be involved. Mount Red Tooth Observatory. I don't know what the heck's going on. Apparently there's a attache case from an observatory in here. Who knows what the heck that means. Anything else in here? Anything? Barry? You know, you showed me Barry in the intro. I expect Barry. Mostly just because we just got finished killing him at the end of Alan Wake 1. In the, the special chapter, he was kind of the end boss of the game. But real Barry, he was a annoyingly lovable douche, but you know, still kept him around. He was he was fun to I don't know. He was he was there to carry cardboard cut out Alan, at the very least. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. Ooh, fallacious, all right. I gotta be honest with you, I know a lot of words. Oh, Emma, yeah. Well, in, I guess she Emma didn't Sloan, leave and still died, so that's on us. victim of his dark half. More collateral damage in the ongoing war. Yeah. Damned by forces beyond her control. Well. As much as actions. You're not wrong. You are not wrong, Discount Rod Serling. Come on, Alan. Yeah, oh, come on. Woo! Not today! Yes! Ha ha! Just shoot it everywhere, Alan. Bullets for days. <laughs> the combat definitely feels a lot smoother than it was in original Alan Wake, that's for sure. For some reason, it always had this air of clunkiness to it in uh, the original. I still, I, I'm gonna keep checking that even though I have not picked up another page like a jerk. Hello, Emma. Um. Damn it! Why didn't you listen? Alan, she did listen. You you told her to stay because it was safer here, and she died here. Like you, you are to blame for this, Alan. I don't know directly or indirectly, but you are most certainly to blame. Oh, she's in one of the rooms. Ugh. Okay. Uh, close quarters. Put the carbine down. Thank you. Open the door. Hello. Damn. 
Is that another ring of keys? Dead. Tortured. Orchard. Dressed in clothes well, that bore I... the name of a local observatory. Well, there's that observatory Slim again. Lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. Okay. I mean, I guess you're shoving the name down my throat. Of course I would remember it. The observatory. Yeah? Hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness. What are we, like, astral projecting here? The light forges on to see the stars. Okay. Wait, what? There was like two other rooms to check. What are we doing? We're just leaving? What? What the? Excuse me? I. Okay, we're An somewhere else now. Thanks, Discount Rod Sterling. To witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the Champion of Light is looking for. Oh, man. He has come to find a weapon. Every time that guy talks, it reminds me of, uh, what was it, Futurama with the, it sounds like you might have just opened the scary door. <laughs> that's, that's all I can think about. Like, obviously there's the Rod Serling and the Twilight Zone, but like, in my head, all I see is the, those little quips from the scary door on Futurama, which, hilarious. And if you've never seen Futurama, well, shame on you. What are you doing with your life? I, I don't know. Hopefully, stuff. Good, good, you know, stuff. Welcome back, listeners. As you know, I'm Eddie Rodman. Eddie I'm Rodman? The old gods of Asgard. Oh, oh jeez. That's what I, I get for turning the radio on. Splendid! Hmm? I'm having the time of my life. Oh, you know, man. I didn't realize how much I missed that. Oh, uh, yeah. You, Tor? I really enjoyed when you guys escaped the mental oh, asylum and hit that nurse with a hammer that was pretty cool i really enjoyed that okay bye thanks shadowy presence at least you're not barber anymore i was gonna say i saw i saw a reload in there i'm coming for it i saw you hiding it back here give me that mm. look at all that bullets bullets and batteries my friend looks like we're moseying up the hill here At least there's no Thomas Zane. He was kind of like... He was like the worst good character I've ever seen. It's like, quick, come this way. Thomas, help me. Oh, no, I can't actually help you. Yeah, come on. Whoa, that was a weird way to hop over that guardrail, but okay. Oh, it's a, a party, huh? All right. You know, let's uh, switch it up. Yeah, suck on that. Yeah, <laughs> oh, crap. No, no, no. At least it's all not lumberjacks. We got some firefighters in here this time. All right. Like the darkness is expanding its horizons. Where are we going to now? We are not going this way, that's for sure. Don't be afraid to look at your map, you jerk. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just yelling at myself casually. Don't mind me. Sometimes I forget that Games are designed to have little breadcrumb trails, and I just... Nope, I'm gonna go walk over here and look at this thing. Like, no, don't be a fool. Like, no, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to be a fool in this case. Sorry, my bad. That's kind of my thing. It's what I do. I, uh, I am kind of foolish. Ooh, is that another carbine? Can I get some more ammo? Even though I just got ammo refilled? Flare's good. Barbine's good. Okay. We got a CCTV going on here. Open sesame. Hello. Yeah. I'm Dr. Rachel Meadows and... But, yeah. Wait a moment, it's you. I can't believe you dare show your face around here again. Uh... Okay. I'm not sure why that caused the taken to appear when you said that, but I'm cool. I'm down. Oh, wait, there was a... Yeah, I was gonna say... Nope, back up. No, 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 no. Ha ha! Where are you going? You're running away back there. Hello. <laughs> you thought you were gonna get me. I tricked you. <laughs> Jerk. Go away. Um. It wasn't me. 
I just look like him. I just happen Are to be carrying serious? a carbine. That's what you're going with? Mm-hmm. I'm uh, trying to stop him. You saw those shadow things trying to kill me, right? Yeah. I bet he got along with them just fine. Yeah, yes. probably. Yes, he did. <laughs> All right. Come Wait, on in. You, did, you, you didn't see that for yourself on the camera? That should have been blatantly obvious there. Where the heck am I? Sort of observatory, huh? Okay. Weird. No. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh crap. Can I take a moment to talk to you? Okay, so the TVs There's aren't night springs now. I'm feeling pretty good right now. What? A little beer. A little fun. You Alan. Know. It's nice. Or Mr. Scratch, rather. I'm sure you're not being very responsible. Wait, just gonna sit on the bed? We gotta shoot it? BS Listen, for a little bit? Oh, we are. This whole thing oh, crap. Between us. It's a little weird for me, too, you know? I mean, we don't just look the same. There's a lot we share. Okay, this is... I mean, up here. Yeah. I know you, right? I guess. So I was thinking maybe we could... Maybe we could... What the heck was that? Oh, I thought he was about to, like, drop his pants. I'm like, no, no! Mr. Scratch, no! Bad touch! What's, uh... What you doing there, buddy? Just... You could eavesdrop it on the party? That's... These guys are getting out of control. Wait, aren't you part of the party, though? Look... I'm confused. I feel like we're both victims of circumstance here. Uh... And maybe we could make some kind of effort to... Effort to... Um... Mr. Scratch? You gonna... No? Okay, bye. <laughs> I was gonna say that conversation was going nowhere anyway. Got a little open area here. Oh, flashbangs! Yes, I love it. The flashbang. What lift? I didn't expect to see anyone here tonight, but I'm relieved to see an actual person. Okay. That's assuming this isn't some kind of cruel trick on your part, of course. I don't. I I, I get it. You think I'm that other guy, but trust me, I'm I'm not that other guy. You see how cool that guy was dressed? I couldn't dress that cool. Look at me, I'm wearing a flannel shirt with a jeans and a giant belt buckle. It's like, I know, I know we're in Arizona, but Alan would never wear a belt buckle like that. Doctor, the man who looked like me, what did he want here? There's a strange astronomical event happening right now. Something huh? I can't begin to classify, but I think it's disabled our satellite. Oh, well, yeah. It's a very peculiar it signal did. that we're receiving. A signal? That's what I'm here for. Well, so was he. But he didn't eh? seem to understand it at all. Okay. He got very angry, sabotaged our imaging array, and now we're blind. What a jerk. I believe the event is still going on, but we can't pick it up. Okay. Is there something we can do? What he broke is essentially just a special camera. <laughs> we can't use the telescope without it. Alrighty. There's a replacement in my car. Of course if there you can is. get that to me, we're back in business. No problem. Consider it done. Yeah, I'm all over it. Oh, wait, you got a, you got a little more? More about the signal. It's almost as if something's being transmitted to Night Springs. Okay. It's the strangest thing. It's quite elusive, almost as if it wasn't properly there. Oh, I okay. I don't know how to describe it. It's so, like a quantum state. Like? I wish I knew. He appeared before I had a good fix on it. He was very pleasant when I was working. Okay. But when I isolated the signal, he suddenly forced me out of the control booth. Ooh, that is a jerk move. Business. Yeah. He seemed to... To change. To change. He, he was very smooth and charming before that, but suddenly just like became, Alan. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I want to talk about it. Oh. All right, Alan. That's inappropriate. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> that's you can't ask him questions like that. Back down the elevator. Yeah, things are going okay. I guess we're not dead. Some sort of weird astronomical, uh, astrological. You know, event occurring that we're gonna have to Good monitor, luck. but and try to be careful. Okay. It's a very expensive part, and we don't have a replacement. Isn't this, in fact, the replacement? Oh dear, that sounded more callous than I intended. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, be safe. Oh yeah. Now I really feel like you're being honest with me. Oh, none of these do. None of these do anything. Okay. Like we don't have a replacement except the one that you're about to grab to replace it. We have that one, but not another one on top of that one. Like, yeah, I, okay. Oh, okay. I was wondering what the 
the little plus icons were in the minimap, it's the, the checkpoint lamps give you life back. Makes sense. I believe they did that in the first one. So, we gotta go through here, maybe? Eh, yeah, that ain't it. Maybe around the side? Yeah, around the side. Hello, anybody here? Alan Wake, writer. I'm in Arizona for some reason. Oh, yes. All that good stuff. Arizona. That's... Actually, that's pretty accurate. Not the tree, but the, the mountains there. Yep. This must be your car. Yeah, I... Why is it covered in spider webs? Everything is so strange. Uh, giant spiders? Mm -hmm. Giant spiders? I hate spiders. I hate spiders. Anything that is smaller than me, but yet moves faster than me, freaks me out. Come on out. Wow, you're... Bullseye. Problem solved. Problem staying solved. Oh, well, you're pretty good at that, Alan. Way to not suck. Let's go. I guess we're going back. No, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. At least these spiders aren't covered in shadow armor. That's cool. What? Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, okay. Oh, you're just throwing spiders at me. Okay, I'm just going to run for it. Oh, they're still chasing me. I mean, as fast as... As fast as spiders can chase a human being, but they are still chasing me. Come on, let me in. Thank you. Back upstairs, return the telescope. Wait. Hmm. You didn't happen to mean, like, right here, did you? I just... No, okay, I just... I saw the... I saw the star was really close. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, come on, Alan. Pump those knees. You gotta keep him moving up, oh, and you are passing out. Okay. Excellent. I'll operate the platform directly below the telescope so you can install the array. Okay. Don't worry, it's very easy. Oh yeah. Oh, that thing. All right. Hold on. Let me get uh. Let me get this stuff. Hop on. on. You know, you keep saying that. I don't know. Uh, some one of these times, something terrible is gonna happen when I get on one of these platforms. I just figured I'd let you know that I'm aware that's how it's gonna go. You're not. So I'm gonna yell at you when it does, but hmm, okay. Hmm. Slam it in there, Alan. That's probably how that works. Brilliant, you've got it. I'll just run a quick diagnostic on it. Mm hmm. Yes, it's in perfect order. Thank God. All right, we're good to go. Let's take a look at the skies. All right. Wait, am I coming up there? Or yeah, all right. I... No, wait. You're not gonna bring me up there first? What the heck? I guess I'll just chill down here while you look at the skies. That's fair. Even though I did all the work and really enjoy looking at space. Why are you overheating? Why don't you slow down, Doc? Have to shut this down. Doc, I can't. Problem with the automated coolant system. What? Just interrupted the flow. It's a. So now what? What do you mean automated coolant system? You should go and open the secondary coolant flow valves manually. Okay. I know it's dangerous there, but. Well, dangerous where? Got it. Please okay. Please talk to me if you have questions. No, I just, I didn't, I didn't think it was gonna go wrong immediately. That we, that we'd have at least like a look at the sky before things went horribly wrong. Nope. No? Really? Huh. Okay, I get it. Yes, emergency. Emergency. I am aware. Just remember, you need to release all three valves. Okay. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. Oh, really? Just these here? Okay. Spam the click button. Clicking makes those slightly less aggravating than usual, but they are still a waste of time. What do you got? Oh, yes! Give me that page. Let's take a looky see. Yeah. The pressure of success got to me. Mm -hmm. My wife Alice was the sole thing in my life that anchored me. Suddenly it wasn't enough. <laughs> I couldn't write anymore. I distracted myself with wild parties and whatever trouble I could scare up. Yeah, you did. I wallowed in the drama of my life, sure <laughs> that Alice would stick with me even though she didn't sign up to be the lifeline of a tortured artist. Yeah, she seemed pretty it was great. My dumb luck, she's not the type to give up. Yeah. Yeah, she seemed like a really cool chick. Although I still, 
we just finished up the ending on the special chapter in the second Alan Wake. I swear, it was all in Alan's head, and the last thing anything real in that game happens to Alan is when he's having a fight with his wife. Or there could just be, you know, massive plot holes, and that's ended up what ended up happening. Oh, let's we'll just jump down here, Alan. Don't die! Okay. I was just, I was worried because I had suddenly remembered Alan has a penchant for dying from falling short distances. What? I don't know. No. Woo! Back it on up, pal. That was a, uh, you, you almost got me. Just not good enough. Still got it, Alan. Still got them moves. Wait, I saw something shiny on there. Go on. Go get it, Alan. Oh, it's just revolver ammo. Actually, you know what? We're going to switch to the revolver. Another page. All right. Fighting the take. I've carried a flashlight and a gun for so long that I feel naked without either. Yeah. It's all too often that I need them. Mm -hmm. The darkness protects the taken. Shadows crawl over their forms like living things, protecting yeah. them from harm. Blows Shadow armor. Or kill a human outright mean nothing to them as long as the darkness persists. Yeah. But light makes them vulnerable. Uh huh. Light so does bullets. Burns the shadows away. <laughs> the darkness that drives them is still in them, but now they're vulnerable. Yeah. Flashlight and gun. Sometimes it feels they're all I have left. Kind of all you do have left, Al. Everything else is just crazy. The kind of the the shadow kind of feel that they have in this is uh, very reminiscent of the damage reduction shield that the monsters would get in the higher difficulty sections of Devil May Cry, and specifically, I only remember it happening in like Devil May Cry three. Once you hit uh, like Dante Must Die mode, everything basically comes with like a ninety percent damage reduction shield, which reforms. Oh crap, no, 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 nope. Aha! Didn't expect me to waste a flare for one thing, did you? <laughs> but I did. Alright, now, one more cool valve. Stars are pretty. I mean, you know, what? <laughs> Noise is still going on over there. Like, yeah, I'm gonna keep walking away from that. I don't like how that sounds. Yeah, it's like screaming and stuff going on over there. That doesn't sound good at all. None of that sounds good. This is a massive observatory. Holy crap. What is happening over there? <laughs> I feel like I forgot to kill a dude over there, and it's just duking it out with some, like, inanimate light source. Hello. Fighting the fires, eh? Wow, okay. Guess not. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. I don't like you guys, but I hope you die. Click it, Alan. Click it. No, no, no. Giant box. I don't think that was there before I turned that corner. What? What the heck? Oh, it's the coolant line. Oh, okay. Whoa, Alan. Nice dodge. Ref reflexive pistol shot there. Nope. Back up. Everybody get back. Let me in. Nice. Oh, that totally worked. Awesome. Wow, really? Doctor, you left you left the alarm running the entire time I was gone? I released all the valves, Doctor! Bed. Is it working? Just bear with me a moment. Hmm. Yes, I believe you've got it sorted. Excellent. It's working again. Nicely done. Can you let me upstairs now? That I... sounds like trouble. I don't think they're happy with our success. No, probably not, dog. What the heck is that? Oh, they're Look coming out. from they the ground. That seems... Okay, that's weird. Ah, crap. Come on, Alan. I'm working on it. What, you have what isolated? The hole in the ground? I doubt it. Okay, long downtown shot. Ooh, got it. Still got it, Alan. You are... You still got the moves. 
but who dares? Uh-oh. Nah. Back. Back, you fiends. Got it. Staying strong, Alan. Yes. Good. Right? Oh yeah, that we got it. Intense. That was all right. In now. I still have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's very strange, very strange indeed. <laughs> okay. Oh, where are my manners? Settle down there, yes. Willy Wonka. Come on up. I'm sorry, I was distracted. You were distracted. I was the guy fighting shadow beings. All right, let's get on it. Ah. Up the world's slowest platform ever. All right, Doc. So, break it down for me. Are we receiving the signal now. He oh, says, yes, carrying an assault coming. rifle in one hand. It? It's amazing. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure what it is yet. Let alone where it's coming from. How is it amazing then? Interacting with our system somehow, like it was intended for us. Oh. I don't understand how that could be. Maybe that's, that's not good. Just how the story goes. What? <laughs> Never mind. Alan, don't be blowing is people's mind like that. What the heck's wrong with you? However, this is supposed to work. <laughs> I think the signal is incomplete somehow, but you should be getting a printout of it now. Oh, we getting a fax? I heard it. What do you mean it's incomplete? It's almost as if we're only getting a fragment of it. Oh. I need. The whole thing. This is important. Wow, sure calm down, is. Alan. This is all we're getting. Alan was like, man who the... looks like me get the whole thing. He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. Okay. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. Oh, I was gonna say, where the heck is Brown? Of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the Champion of Light. Uh. In its words, stirs a new reality. Okay. But it is incomplete, and yet it provides a roadmap for the man to follow. A course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. Very good. Oh. Well, that's it for that. We are out of there. Huh. Kind of blowing through these areas. Ooh. We got drive-in? Man, I haven't been to a drive-in forever. The drive-in. Just desserts, a cannibal's tale. Ham, a documentary. A documentary. Oh, it's man, what? Of an art exhibition. Also, and Samurai vs. Conquistador 2 sounds culture, awesome. Rather than culture that brings the champion of light Although, here. Although, I gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of distracted by that uh, ham. Uh, uh, Alright, you know what? We're just gonna let it slide. Um, so, anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. I'm... Uh, I'm still digging this. It seems, you know, it's, it's very different than uh, the OG... Uh, or Alan Wake, but it's still fun. I'm having a blast playing it. That being said, I'm Devo. This is Lost Time Gaming. Thank you for joining me today. If you like the game, feel free to leave a like, get subscribed, and leave a comment down in the comment section below about any games you may want to see me play in the future. We're going to keep uh, keep on going forward with this while we're uh, still trying to crank out uh, The Evil Within 2 and get that done. And like I said, I'm I'm still having a blast. Oh, there it is. My, my boo ham a documentary all right so as usual thanks for joining me today and i will catch you all on the flip side